Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. It's a rainy day here at the retreat location, but I'm fortunate to have some help from my neighbor who is also a ham radio operator. Today's video, we're going to look at the power output levels of Midland's new 40 watt general mobile radio service or GMRS mobile radio, the MXT400. Last week I introduced this radio here on the channel, but I just had it laid out on the bench. Since then, I've installed it in the truck, and today I partially deinstalled it to do this test. The radio is connected to my MFJ antenna meter here and power meter, so we're going to be able to look at the SWR and the power out. Right now the radio is set to channel 17, which is one of the high power channels, and my assistant's going to hit the push to talk, and we're going to see how much power we're putting out and getting back. So it looks like we're putting out about 35 watts, and we got reflected power from the antenna 1.4 to 1. Now I'm not sure how accurate the calibration is for this meter and we are getting some reflected power back but that's still very impressive for GMRS mobile. The next setting we're going to check is the medium power. So now we're knocking the radio down to medium and my assistant once he gets that balanced out will hit the push to talk and we'll see what we get. And that looks like at medium you get about 15 watts out and that wasn't in the manual. The manual just said low, medium, high. So now we know that medium is about 15 watts out. The next setting we're going to check is the low power. And we'll change the scale on the meter to times 10. And we'll get my assistant to hit the push to talk. And that looks like we're putting out a little above 3 watts. So that would be consistent with the settings on some of Midland's handheld radios. Now I should mention channels 1 through 7 of this radio are shared with the family radio service. So they're locked down to the 3 watt level. So if you wanted to know what the actual power outputs of this radio is, about 3 watts for low, 15 watts for medium, and right around 40 watts for high. Now this is also connected to one of Midland's antennas, and I'll try to get up here in the rain. It's the MXT A10 antenna, and that is a 3 dB gain, 5 8 loaded whip antenna connected to an NMO mount. And so far I've been very happy with the performance. So the next test we're going to do is we're going to put the antenna analyzer on that, or the spectrum analyzer, and plot out the uh, frequency response and see what the SWR looks like across the entire GMRS band. So let me pause the camera here, get that set up, and see what it looks like. Alright guys, we're definitely battling the rain today and the glare. I threw my old army blanket up over to provide some shade from the sun so you can see the screen a little bit better. But I'll put in a screenshot of what you're looking at here. But here's the plot for the MXT A10 3dB gain antenna from Midland for the general mobile radio service. The SWR starts getting good at 2 to 1 at 447 megahertz. Stays good all the way up to 476 megahertz. It's best at 464 megahertz and quite acceptable at a typical GMRS repeater pair at 467 megahertz. And I'm doing this plot with Signal Hound's SA44B spectrum analyzer and companion tracking generator. And I'll pull this out of the way so you can see it. And a directional coupler. If you're interested in this test and how I'm doing it, I'll put a link down below to where I discuss how all this works. But basically what we're doing is sending a signal down to the antenna and measuring the reflection of what's coming back or the absence of what's coming back on the spectrum analyzer and it's giving us a plot of where that antenna is more resident for frequencies. So there's the plot. Again I'll insert that screenshot one more time so you can see it. So I'm very happy with this antenna. I'm very impressed with the MXT400 mobile radio and as always thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper out at the rainy retreat location. Thanks for watching guys.